In this video, I'll show you different kinds of voice effects inside DaVinci Resolve. On my timeline, I'm having the same voice recording and now I'm gonna implement the voice effects. I'm highlighting the first one, going to the inspector and we're gonna work with the pitch. So first, on the semitones, we want to make it to about minus 5. And then just below that, we're gonna go to sense and we're gonna make it on values of plus 40. And that way you're making your voice sound a lot deeper. In this video, I'll show you different kinds of voice effects inside DaVinci Resolve. So that was the first one. Moving on with the second one. This is not edited. So in this one, we're gonna make it sound robotic. So I'm highlighting it and I'm going again in the spectre. And once again, we're gonna set the semitones to minus 5 and the values of cents to plus 40. So I'm going in the effects library and I'm selecting the effects and then I'm going to audio effects. In the search bar, I'm typing delay. And when I found it, I'm grabbing it and I'm leaving it over my audio file. Then this window will appear. And in here, you can change just a few things. For example, you can set your dry wet on the values of approximately 80. It doesn't need to be exact 80 around that. Also, another thing you can change is the amount. By default, it's on 16, but you can leave it on approximately 60. And last but not least, in here, you can change the delay value. Also, you can reduce it to about 30 to 35, something like that. And then you can move this window out of the way and you can preview your recordings so you can see the result. In this video, I'll show you different kinds of voice effects inside the Venture Resolve. And this is actually a custom made robotic sound. You can also use the preset which DaVinci Resolve is having. So I'm resetting and deleting the delay effect that I have just added. Now the audio is clean and I'm going back to effects library and this time I'm looking for flanger. Once the flanger window is opened, you can select the drop down menu and select the robotic voice. Then you can play it. In this video, I'll show you different kinds of voice effects inside DaVinci Resolve. And this is something like a version 2 of the robotic sound, if you prefer this one. Now we're moving on to the third effect, which is the childish sound. It's very easy to do, it requires just a little work. You can highlight the audio, you can go to the audio tab in the inspector, and all you have to do is increase the semitones by a tiny bit. I'm leaving mine on 8. In this video, I'll show you different kinds of voice effects inside DaVinci Resolve. And now we came up to the last effect, which is the underwater effect, the muffle effect. For this effect, we need to go to the Fairlight tab. So I'm highlighting the audio and I'm going in the Fairlight tab. Also, I'm leaving it on another channel. And then I'm going in the mixer. And since this is on the mixer number two, I'm selecting the equalizer on mixer. I'm enabling band number six. And now I'm grabbing band number six and I'm dragging it until I match my frequencies to about the values of 400. I'm moving the other way and I'm previewing the audio. In this video, I'll show you different kinds of voice effects inside DaVinci Resolve. You can also watch this video right here. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.